Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be overviewing the update note for the April 28th, 2022 update, of course, coming tomorrow. As you can see, we do have the update note here on the Destiny Child moot page, and we'll be overviewing the main topics here on this specific update note. If you guys would like to check out all of the details showcased in this update note, I will be sure to link this moot blog post in the description box below so you guys could check it out on your own time. But let's get started here and see what this update does contain. All right, everyone, first up here, we do have the world boss trial that will begin after the April 28th maintenance, being the world boss trial season 25 gunslinger Wyatt. There she is on the screen showcased in her S class costume a little bit here on the graphic. And as you can see, we do have the boost childs on the screen as well. One being Guillotine, which is very nice as Guillotine is a pretty old child at this point. Next up here, we do have the other boost child being Innocent Theofano. So there she is, as you can see, a 60% boost at plus zero, scaling to 120% if you do manage to plus six her. Next up here, we do have the rewards, which are pretty standard for the world of boss. And of course, we do have the 10, 30, 60, 90, and 100 being the special reward box from 101 to 200 of the world boss you will receive a blood gem for each clear and from 200 and onwards we do have here the core materials of each specific type of course after each boss defeat next up here everyone for the magic mirror shop of course the highlights we do have wyatt here being featured in the shop she is a pretty decent fire type debuffer in which we'll dive into her kit in just a bit Next up here for the other 5-star unit being featured is 5-star Hypocrite Babel. Babel is pretty good, so definitely pick up Babel if you don't have him at plus 6. And of course, pick him up regardless for fodder if you even do have him at plus 6. We also do have here the core lucky boxes, which are standard. Of course, you will want to obtain all of the core lucky boxes here, as well as the five star child summoning tickets, the soul carter tickets, etc. We also do have here the standard big aura hearts. As for the core materials here, we do have the amplified defense core and amplified crit core, as well as the scarlet lanterns and the azor lanterns here, which do reset daily. So overall, a good world boss shop in my opinion. Next up here, everyone, we do have a new area being added to the story mode. So very nice. We do have new area chapter 4-7 normal difficulty will be added. We also do have here the additional EXP rewards will be acquired on the new stages, which are very nice. And we also do have here the clear rewards upon clearing the stage for the first time. So there they are on the screen for 4-7, as well as here we do have some of the updates to the Hecate library being the special story for the world boss trial and of course the awakening stories for Wyatt as well as Theofano. Next up here everyone we do have a small change to the rebirth lab. They aren't bringing any new costumes but we do have the rates I do believe that are being shifted for the specific childs. We do have the costumes here for five star Mott, Dana, Cleopatra, Kefri, and Willow. As for the four star costumes, we do have Elision, El Dorado. As for the three stars, we do have Demeter, Immature Manimo, as well as Idun, Atropos, and Skald. For the costumes here, as you could see, we do have with the update of the Pact Maker costumes, the individual rates of a specific costume appearing may change. So they are changing the rates for the costumes showcased above, I do believe. So very nice. If you guys don't have these older costumes, then you will have a chance with the rates being changed. Next up here, everyone, we do have the new childs being introduced with this update. Of course, first up here, we do have five star grenade Wyatt, the fire type debuffer. There she is on screen in her before awakening costume, looking very cute here with the grenade launcher. And next up here, we do have Wyatt's featured in her after awakening costume, looking very nice here. She does look pretty mad, but overall a nice looking unit. As for the skill set here, everyone, at rank one stats. Let's check it out here on screen. We do have the tap skill here being fireworks deal 403 damage debuff evasion minus 13% for 10 seconds long. Now this tap skill is pretty good and definitely will come in handy if you do lack debuffers for the world boss trial side of the game. So overall a good tap skill here on Wyatt. Very nice for the world boss trial. 
As for the slide skill here, we do have deal 707 damage to two enemies, priority wood type, inflict time bomb. After 8 seconds, explode for 3500 damage in PvP, inflict hellfire, 250 bonus damage in proportion to the number of fire type allies, up to 10 on two random enemies. As for the drive skill here, we do have deal 2101 damage to three enemies, Lowest HP, inflict internal flame, 600 damage over time every 2 seconds. If target dies, debuff moves to another enemy, up to 1 time. Unable to remove, cut, or extend debuff for 14 seconds. As for the leader buff here, debuff evasion minus 15% for all enemies. In PvP, debuff evasion minus 5% added for wood type allies. Overall here for Wyatt, I would say the most important portions of her kit would be the tap skill as well as the leader buff. They could come in handy for the wood type world boss trials. So definitely a unit to keep around. Most importantly, if you are a beginner player. Next up here, everyone, we do have the other unit being featured here in the upcoming update. Of course, five star Innocent Thifano. There she is on the screen, the newest water type supporter looking very nice. As you could see her featured here in her Before Awakening costume looking very cute. And next up here we do have Theofano in her After Awakening costume, of course the S class. As for the skill set everyone here at rank 1 stats, we do have the tap skill here. Deal 396 damage, damage received from damage over time debuff, damage minus 17% to 3 enemies with lowest HP, priority the front row for 12 seconds long. As for the slide skill here, deal 732 damage, skill gauge charge speed plus 45% to 3 water type allies for 2 turns, and world bosses drive gauge charge amount plus 10% for 3 water type allies for 2 turns. As for the drive skill here, deal 6879 damage to 3 random enemies, grants drive gauge plus 150 to three water type allies on world bosses a 100 percent chance to grant focus accuracy up and 100 percent crit rate to three water type allies highest attack for two turns as for the leader buff here drive gauge charge amount plus 12 percent for water type allies on world bosses eight percent added so overall, a very amazing unit. She will be a staple for all fire type world boss trials to come. So you'll definitely want to summon her up. She does look amazing. And overall, the kit is amazing regardless. So definitely summon her up if you can and do have the crystals available. This will be a unit you definitely will want for the current world boss trial. And of course, for the futures, as most importantly, she will be a boost child for the current event. And for the future fire world boss trials, she will be needed as for the new costumes here everyone we do have the hot spring costumes of wyatt so there she is on screen in the infernal spa realm and next up here we do have the hot spring costume of theofano looking very beautiful overall both the costumes do look very nice make sure to let me know which ones you do like in the comment section below next up here everyone we do have a new soul carta being five star juno's gift as you could see the arts here featured on screen looking very nice here showcasing juno as for the stats here this is actually a very very strong soul carta as for the prism version here we do have hp and defense stats which are always nice we do have 1200 hp and 714 defense here as for the option increase incoming debuff durations by 13 percent on world bosses so this will be a staple carta for your world boss debuffer units as of course the enemy's debuff duration will be increased by 13 percent so upon your units landing a debuff it will be increased so very nice here, a good world boss card out here. You'll definitely want to summon for it if you do manage to have some spare crystals. As for the summons tab, everyone coming up soon, we do have here the guaranteed upon summoning for Theofana as well as Tundra Guillotine. So very nice here. Next up here, everyone, for the events, we do have here a rebirth challenge being featured. So a very decent event here, which does reward rebirth coins as well as galaxy napping places for your soul cards and if you do manage to complete all of the missions we do have a synthesis grid reset ticket 
As for the final portion of the update note here, we do have the others tab to provide a more diverse source to summon childs. In addition to consuming crystals, candidates may now watch advertisements to summon childs. Please kindly understand that this function is currently not supported in the tap tap version. Thank you. So I guess we can watch ads now three times a day to summon up some units. I'm not sure if this is just a single summon or a multi summon, but overall free summons, I guess they did want to add more of the advertisements. So this is how they are doing it. Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this. Overall, it doesn't seem too great for the state of the game but we'll see what happens in the future. So that'll pretty much do it for today's Destiny Child update overview. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below your thoughts overall of the upcoming World of Boss trial and what do you guys think of the new units being a five star grenade or Wyatt as well as five star Theofano. But before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy today's Destiny Child video and of course if you haven't yet done so already make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more Destiny Child content as well as make sure to check out the links in the description box below to my discord server as well as to my twitch channel in which we do live stream i will be live streaming the world boss trial coming up towards the end of the week here this weekend so make sure to stay tuned if you guys would like to chill and watch some of the world boss trial with me but with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching